hello um i'm here making a video today my name is angelique and i've um, been attempting to do this video it's my third attempt and i think i'm having camera issues but i'm gonna give this one more try if so then i won't be able to upload anyway um i have been having issues with dry skin for the last couple of years and I'm particularly I'm reminding of I'm reminded of the um, issue around this time of the year when the weather is a little bit more colder. Um, even though the weather is cold and it's crisp, there's a certain type of humidity in that um, type of temperature that still dry, that dries my skin out more this time of year than it does in the summer. So um, I noticed that my face is kind of oily because I've already applied my mask on it. Um, I'm gonna do some more. It won't hurt. Matter of fact, it probably will help um, if I demonstrate, you know, how I did it. Anyway, um, I usually get dry, like up in here, like up in my eyebrows and right up in here. And then I get a little buildup around my nose. And, you know, sometimes I have to push my nose back and then get the oil. And it's always like buildup where it takes me, you know, a little extra longer in the mornings to wash my face. You know, like every other day or something like that. Usually... I wash my face every day with soap, I mean with water, I don't use any soap. Um, in the summertime, there are times like if I have a lot of sweat build up at the end of the week or something, I might put a little soap on my rag and then quickly go over it because I don't want the chemicals from the soap to dry out my skin and I do that, but typically I just use water. I get asked all the time about my skin and what do I use and stuff like that, just water. Um, I've taken a trip to, um, this spa called Jeju. It's out in Gwinnett in Georgia. And, um, one particular occasion I had a body scrub. And I noticed that the ladies used a mixture of water, oil, and salt. And they used a special, like, scrub pad. And they would, like, scrub, like, inf you know, intricately scrub, like, each portion of your body. And it felt so good. And um, also, um, it would be a, such a thorough um, scrub that you would actually see little beads of dirt. And when I first saw that, I was really embarrassed. But everyone that gets it done said that happens to them, too. So, you know. Um, I got the concept of this mask from that. So what I've done is I've taken some of my very, very, very favorite oils that um, over the years I've used and studied and I know that they are like the top shelf oils. These are like very expensive oils that I've gathered together, you know, and I've made sacrifices in other areas of um, my life because I do take pride in my skin and how it's, you know, getting along and sometimes you just got to make some sacrifices and by you know what you need you know for that reason um the oils that i've used here's my oil it's in a jar a container now i'm recycling the container but here's my oil and pretty much um i have the dark green um olive no no avocado oil in here um i have mango butter i have different oils that i've used like i said and this is particularly what it looks like let me see if I can get you up here and the consistency if you can see the consistency very thick you know and this is what it looks like if I take my fingers and I rub get on my computer hold on and then you'll you'll tend to see like little beads hopefully you can see them well, particularly, uh, first of all, the color itself is purple. And what I've done with is added um, grape, organic grape edible flavor flavoring. And um, I like the way it smells. It smells like um, the grape now, ladies, I used to love when I was a kid. And I still do sometimes. And you can actually taste it. It, has a, it tastes like oil, but it has a grape hint to it. And it just smells like grape. And so... Um, I like it like that. So what I do is I start scrubbing in my skin, particularly in the areas that I'm worried about, which is like right up in here, this crease, like right here. Now I noticed that because my diet is a bit poor, I eat the junk food and stuff like that. I noticed that here and like 
if you could see the edges of my lips would be like black this part would be you know okay but like the edges of my lips in this area would have like like a black hint to it so once I started using this and I pay extra special attention and I scrub notice I said scrub oh it has a scrubbing exfoliating effect on my oil because what I did after I blended all of my my favorite oils together I after I mixed all my favorite oils together I'm sorry I blended in hemp seeds now it was a total accident because I wasn't even I was looking for the hemp seeds to add an, another enhancement in the quality of the oil but um I was expecting it to liquefy you know like I make um organic raw moss Irish moss and I use pumpkin seeds as the milk so when I add the pumpkin seeds to the blender and I add the um, water or whatever um, liquid base I'm adding to that to help mix the seeds they end up you know the seeds end up um, conforming to liquid form there's no evidence that has ever been a seed in there um, I was expecting the hemp seeds to do the same thing you know but it didn't it just didn't um, that night when I went to go take a shower I went to pour a little bit of the um, mask on my hand so you know working into my face and I noticed there was beads it was beads like little beads and so like um, I was like wow you know at first I was like what the hell and then I was like, you know what, this is a good idea. Because that's what's exfoliating and helping to shape off the dead skin, you know, on the areas that I use it on. So right now, particularly I use it on my face. But if I have, like, dry patches that I find somewhere on my body, I will not hesitate to rub this in. And I pretty much just go like this. Like I said, I pay extra special attention to this area and the buildup. Now, what I noticed about this oil is is that um jojoba oil is a natural oil i have jojoba oil in here too it's a natural oil it is the closest oil that mimics the natural composition of the oil of your skin um jojoba oil is also an astringent meaning that it also helps to clean like most people use jojoba oil in your hair and when you use it it helps to keep the um area around the hair follicles debris free you know what i'm saying so by it being an oil astringent i figured it would be excellent with a few other oils that i like you know to go ahead and clear the dirt and i'm gonna tell you once i started using this i noticed this area is lighter my face has gotten lighter it's smooth i had a few blackheads i still have a couple i don't know if you can see them but um they're pushing its way out it's like one or two you know um people will typically pop the blackheads i ain't doing that because i believe popping um, leaves pop marks or whatever I don't want to know so I'm not even going to try it so I just go over my face and I take time you know you go to massage and get that done I take time and I massage my own face you know and I go in you know all that stress from the day you know it's kind of like a meditation this is what I do every day and so um, I get under my chin and then what I tend to do is I get in the shower and then um, after I bathe, you know, my body, I turn the steam from the shower helps to add moisture, a layer of moisture over this. So, you know, that's helping to um, also infuse moisture into my skin. So once I'm done with the shower, I turn it down lukewarm and I take the little rag um, that they give you at Jeju. I ain't tell you that part. They had give you these little pink rags at Jeju that you can wash your face and stuff with or your body. And, you know, I have a couple of them, you know. And I took one and cut in a way so that way I can use it to do my face. And I just rinse. I don't dry. I just rinse. And that's it. And, um, I mean, I don't dry my skin. I just rinse it and let the air dry. And um, that's my beauty tip for today. You know, I consider my beauty tip my love offering to you guys. Um, so many of you guys particularly my sisters have been so good to me and my daughter and granddaughter and you know this is my way of giving back um you guys that i, I encourage you to um make your own oil and leave your comments and also if you're too busy you know working and taking care of things to make your oil you know you can ask me um about um to custom make your oil you know and any inquiry any inquiries inquiries of sale or you know what type of flavors I have just let me know